Hello. Um, just had a couple questions, maybe. Uh, one in particular, uh, what do you think is the most important movie of maybe our generation? So from 2020 to 2030, what do you think would matter the most? And I'm not talking about the movies that are going to be made in the next 10 years. I'm talking about the movies that are made right now. If you could pick and say, hey, these ones have the most meaning or these are the ones that resonate the most with uh, what's going on in the world for current events and uh, that they're of things that are going to be happening here in the near future. Do you think that it would be a cartoon movie? Do you think it would be a movie of, of um, character growth? Do you think it would be something fiction? Do you think it would be something nonfiction? Because I think when it would say what would matter most and would be the most important, uh, I would pick B-movie. B-movie with, and I in no way, shape, or form like Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, his stand-up comedy, and I just all around don't like him. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have any character, and he it doesn't mean that he's not funny, and it doesn't mean that other people don't like him. And that's completely okay. But B-movie is, if you, if you guys know me, he, he, <laughs> hold on, my stupid cat's. Jerry Seinfeld in B movie basically is like accentuates the importance of humor in a movie. All right, so B movie, if you haven't seen it, I don't have my computer up right now, but I have seen it about like 20 times. And every time I see it, every time I think about how humans think that nature belongs to them, the world is theirs to, to control in some way, shape, or form. And it makes me really sad. And bees are such an important um, balance to everything that we do. I mean, I'm not saying that for those of you that like honey and use honey for anything, but everything else from flowers and, you know, the growth of humankind, food, you know, germination, like they're like the overall balance in a lot of things. Uh, it's no difference when you start learning about, you know, the food chain and if you take the plankton out of the sea, you know, like everything else is going to eventually get burned somehow by it. So B movie, I would say from 2020 to 2030 is probably one of the most important movies of our generation this upcoming generation you really need to look at that movie and not saying just saying from a humankind and respecting nature but the the general premises of the movie is if you had everyone doing their own little part in the world that everything would work in balance and every little aspect of that movie how they say a hive works as like a corporation and everyone has a little job that they do like it's completely fascinating in that movie so i wouldn't just look at that movie and be like oh it's just a kid's movie and it's you know it sends a good mes message i think that movie sends one of the most important messages so i wouldn't just take it for granted watch it and watch it as an adult uh, watch it from a child's perspective, watch it from a bee's perspective, watch it from nature's perspective, watch it from a balanced perspective, and tell me, isn't one of the most acclaimed movies in the next next 20 years? I know 10 years, but it's <laughs> we can't make robot bees, you guys. We can't just make a bunch of little robot bees that are going to be pollinating for us so it's up to us together as a team not just me what i think and feel as a humanitarian or someone who knows their place in this weird puzzle but 
I'm telling you, please spread that movie. And if you haven't seen it, geez, please, Louise Bees, watch it. But um, I'm going to go watch a movie because i got to be up in the morning. But you guys all have a good evening. And I don't know. I was going to do a top 10 of my favorite movies. But I figure I'd just give you one of my favorite movies of all time and just talk about it. So, hey, you guys have a good night. And I hope you have sweet dreams. And I'll be on in the morning. I'm going to make a movie because I'm probably not going to sleep. I want to go and play some Warzone, so... Toodles!